Welcome to a new In The Mail, the series that will touch both your passion for electronics and your bank account at the same time. And I must say that I'm worried about the future of mailbag videos given the new EU regulations on imports from China, uh, which are going into effect starting 1st of July here in Romania. I'll have to do a separate rant video on the subject, uh, but there might not be any uh, mailbag videos going forward. I'm gonna start this mailbag with a brand that you are already familiar with here on the channel. It's very difficult for me to pronounce this. Uh, I don't know how it should be pronounced, but these guys make affordable adhesives and related products. I haven't had this one before. It's the first time I'm getting the K5203. And this is a thermal adhesive. And to be more specific, uh, their description is reinforced thermally conductive silicone elastomer with great adhesion, insulation and dissipation. And to give you some numbers, they claim this can withstand variations of temperatures between minus 60 degrees Celsius and plus 280 degrees Celsius. And it has a shear strength of 30 kilograms per cubic centimeter. The thermal conductivity is 1.2 watts per meter Kelvin. And I don't need to tell you how to use this. It's good for attaching stuff to a heatsink. In general, stuff that also needs some form of bonding to the heatsink. Now I've been using uh, these products for a while now and I've been quite happy with their quality. I think they provide an excellent price to quality ratio and I much prefer getting these instead of the smaller no-name tubes that are widely available under different packaging. If you want to store this for longer, it's best to store it in a fridge and to put a small piece of plastic film to seal the port before screwing in the cap. This will prevent it from hardening in storage. Before we go on with the next items, let me quickly mention the sponsor of this video, PCBWay.com, which is the official provider of printed circuit boards for the Voldog channel. They even have a prototyping service for 3D printing, CNCing, laser cutting, injection molding, so you could basically build a product entirely with their prototyping service. Check them out. My next item is a set of these very small precision uh, strain gauges or load cells and the part number for these is uh, BF350-3AA. Unfortunately sellers of these uh, do not provide the full part number in the AliExpress listing so you're going to find it difficult to build anything precision wise with sourcing these from AliExpress. Sure you can google for a uh, data sheet but you won't know details like the manufacturer to search for the exact data sheet to get the uh, thermal compensation coefficient for example. But for hobby use and experimenting with this type of measurements uh, they will work fine though and the best bet here is to connect them to one of those special uh, bridge measurement circuit which does all of the amplification and conversion for the measurement bridge uh, inside the chip. I believe the part number was something like uh, HX711 and you can also source those for chip on AliExpress and I've also seen these um, strain gauges uh, in a variant that comes with uh, these connection leads attached to them. And if you plan to order any of the items shown in this video, check out the links I've placed in the description below the video. These are affiliate links and if you make a purchase, I will receive a small commission. And while we're here, why not remind you that it's free to smash that like button or dislike button so I can get some feedback. Next up, I have a couple of uh, flat flex SMT connectors and these are 0.5 millimeter pitch, I believe, and I got them for a project I'm currently working on. It's for connecting a small um, LCD panel, but you can also use them to bridge, for example, two boards using flat flex connections. Uh, when ordering these, you need to make sure you get the orientation right because they will usually come in a top or bottom side contact configuration. And depending how your flat flex cable is contract constructed and the way you need to route it with regards to the second board you are connecting, there's only one way it will fit right. So when I order this, I typically just order uh, both types and I'm covered no matter what I decide later. Next up, I got this uh, Unity UT501A uh, uh, installation tester. And this is only a 2000 count meter, but you don't really need more for most installation testing scenarios. The meter can also measure AC voltage, um, low uh, resistance, uh, polarization index and dielectric absorption and it has a backlight function. 
As you can see, the meter comes with a soft carry case and inside you get a pair of test leads and the carry strap. Because electricians will typically carry these around while uh, taking measurements in various points. Also, as a bonus, the meter comes with this uh, protection hard plate, which I really like. This will ensure the meter is well protected, even if tossed inside like a bigger tool bag. I'm not sure about uh, all those uh, measurements that were mentioned in the spec of the meter, like polarization index and dielectric absorption, because all I see on the screen of this meter is the insulation resistance and the test voltage. The test voltage can go up to 1000 volts and the meter uses 6 AA batteries. I know 6 is not ideal, but it's way better than using those nasty 9 volt batteries. And I would take 6 AA batteries instead any day and the meter probably needs them in series to be able to get up to 1000 volts test voltage. This meter was provided for free by Banggood.com. They seem to have a pretty good price for this meter and it was available in stock when I ordered it, so it was a quick delivery for me. I'll probably do a separate video on this meter just to show a few different scenarios where this could be useful because it's not every day that you will use something like this, but when you have an installation problem, you wish you had one of these in your tool bag. Until then, you'll find the link for this product in the description below the video. Next, I ordered one of these uh, car radio extraction sets and you need these to extract the uh, car radio or CD player from the older um, cars where they have these uh, four holes on the sides. You insert these uh, clips, one on each side to unlock the radio clips and then you pull using these as handles and you remove the car radio. And like I said, if you have an older car, you'll need one of these uh, if you plan to upgrade the media system. Now, newer cars usually have plastic trims that need to be removed uh, before accessing the screws which are hidden behind. And I remember many years ago, a friend asked for my help to upgrade his car radio and we couldn't find these anywhere back then. We couldn't wait for delivery from China either. So we had to improvise and we fabricated them from these um, welding rod cores based on pictures we saw online and we managed to get the job done. Next up I have a couple of these star shaped knobs with an M5 nut insert and these are your typical adjustable and secure star shaped knobs that you tend to find on a bunch of uh, equipment. I just plan to build some mechanical prototypes that will have an adjustment so I got a couple of these to experiment with. I will also be 3D printing some joints but these will be the pieces used to clamp the joint and fix it in place after adjustment. There is no chance I would easily find these locally here in Romania, not without a minimum order and probably a very high cost. Next up I have a few bits of wiring and first this uh, ribbon cable, you can find these on AliExpress with pretty much any pitch, wire gauge and width necessary and they also come in a few different colors. I would say that the most difficult part is to find some that is of good quality that uses actual, actual copper wires and this one seems to be very uh, nice on a first look so I will place a link to this product exactly in the description. I wish uh, you could feel this uh, but this is silicon wire ribbon cable so this is very flexible and nice. This is some shielded two wire cable and this is the stuff I use on my four wire Kelvin adapter for the LCR meter which by the way you can get from my Tindy store. I will link that on screen right now. I was thinking of maybe starting to carry this in the store as well because it might be convenient for people to also order the cable and connectors together with the um, uh, PCB connector from my store so they can start building the adapter with the stuff they receive in a single package. And these are some JST SH pigtails, 6 pin, they also come with the uh, matching SMT vertical connector and I use these throughout my projects as programming headers because they save a ton of, of space on uh, PCB design and they are very inexpensive. My next item is something I need to correct my posture and like most people working long hours in front of a monitor I tend to get into very bad positions which cause me back pain and possibly long term back issues. So I have started using one of these standing stools at my workbench 
uh, where you need your back muscles to keep straight and to keep your balance constantly and that should help me uh, keep straight and also um, keep my back muscles in good shape but I also wanted something to alert me when I go into a bad posture and this is quite a popular device it's uh, from a brand uh, called Hippie or the company is Hippie I I'm not even sure if the product is Hippie or the brand is Hippie but Xiaomi also sells these on the Chinese market and they're pretty popular you know Xiaomi products uh, they're pretty good for what they cost there should be an English app available I'll have to research this a bit and I'll include a picture with the uh, app name after I get the chance to play uh, with this uh, gadget you can definitely use this without the app and you just get some vibration alerts but the app adds a whole another layer of usefulness by providing statistics and progress tracking for uh, your posture and the main difference from other devices uh, other similar devices is that you don't uh, necessarily need to glue this to your back um, or use other uncomfortable wearing methods this just comfortably hangs around your neck and shoulders and it's made out of soft silicon I haven't tested this yet but this is what I know from a friend that's already using one uh, he's uh, pretty happy with the gadget so uh, maybe I'll report back after using it for a while and by the way this comes in a couple of different colors and a couple of different sizes they even have like a kids version which is smaller uh, this is the adult version like the size of an adult body and the last item in today's video is this set of uh, flexible filament LEDs or luminous spaghetti and the nice thing about this is that they are well very flexible but only up to a point like I wouldn't try to to bend them into a sharp corner uh, they might break the internal connection in that case but otherwise they, they are fairly fairly flexible like a a very soft silicon wire they come in different sizes and you can get some uh, very long ones I believe uh, you can get them up to a meter of, of length you can get them on different voltage ratings mine are rated for 3 volts and about uh, they're about 13 centimeters long and I'm sure you have some projects in mind where you could use some of this uh, flexible filament LED strip as you can see that the light is very uniform across the length of the strip it's much better than any of the EL wire and this just comfortably runs at 3 volt DC you don't need any specific driver for this um, it's it's miles ahead of any like uh, side glow fiber this really is the good stuff and I'm sure you have some projects in mind where having some some of this uh, flexible filament LED strip could be useful I know I have a project on my to-do list where I could use something like this but I would be interested in hearing your ideas just leave a comment below letting me know what you would build with these uh, flexible LED filament strips and if you're interested in getting some they're pretty hard to find on uh, a search on AliExpress just because of the keywords they use and how broken the search is on AliExpress it's really difficult to find these uh, but I will place some links in the description below um, so check them out the links should take you to this product exactly and this is the end of this mailbag if it's the last one considering the import regulation changing we'll have to see but uh, thank you for watching this video don't forget you can support the channel on patreon with as little as one dollar per month or you can simply hit that like button which is free and helps a lot i'll see you next week and i almost forgot i'll add a playlist on screen with all of my uh, previous mailbag videos uh, there are over 100 videos in this playlist check it out